Hey y'all, so I am getting ready to do something really cool. So while we were on um, set for the Clark Sisters movie, y'all know I bonded a lot with Angela, which um, she played Auntie Jackie, so I'm super excited yeah. about today. I'm gonna chat with her. There was a pizza that she made, it's called Bubble Pizza. And it was so good. She made it while we were there in Canada, because of course we were staying there for a long time. And so we had to kind of live basically while we were there. So. I'm excited. Angela is hilarious. We've done some Instagram lives and she's become like a big sister. So I'm going to cook with her. Um, of course, we're doing everything virtually. So we're going to do it um, on like a Zoom or whatever. And you'll see. Of course, we'll have girl talk over it and all that good stuff. So this is going to be fun. Um, I'm totally chill. It's a beautiful day today. And uh, let's do it. Okay. I'm going into the store now to go and get the items that she gave me. Okay, all right. So I'm almost there. Um, I got everything. Pizza sauce though. Is that just regular marinara sauce? I hope I'm getting the right thing. I got ground turkey instead of beef. It's 1160 mask by the way. And the 1160 shirt that I never release. So when it comes, make sure you buy it, okay? Got my peppers. I'm going the easy way out. I'm getting it chopped already because I don't feel like chopping. I'm ready to go. Where are the biscuits? What aisle is the biscuits in? Do y'all be knowing these songs? So kiss me. Okay, I made it home. Currently watching Boys in the Hood. So sad when Ricky died. It breaks my heart, okay? Anyways, I have already started eating the pepperonis and I shouldn't have. So, um, really good. So I'm getting right, um, FaceTime. Um, and, and we about to start. I got everything. Cheddar. Mozzarella. I got some grape juice too. Let me just move this stuff out the way. Hold on, y'all. I got my ground turkey. I had to FaceTime ends while I was getting the stuff. I have chopped onions so that I don't have to chop it personally, but she told me I gotta saute this. So I'll probably saute this stuff before I call her actually. And then she can tell me everything else to do. Um, this I don't need for the recipe. Those are my red grapes. Are y'all addicted to red grapes? I have a challenge. This is what she told me to get. Pillsbury butter. She said it. Butter tasting <laughs> Pillsbury uh, biscuits. I was about to pick up the breakfast biscuits and croissants and everything that wasn't right. So the meal would have been wrong. But I got that. I'm gonna set this up cute for y'all to see. And I'll post the ingredients at the bottom and like the lower thirds. Uh-oh, stuff is dropping. She specifically said get pizza sauce. So I FaceTimed her and I was like, hey Ange, I'm getting ready to get some pasta sauce. She said, no, get pizza sauce. So it was one brand that was called Rio, Rio, Rio you give it, it was R-A-O, or Prego, Prego. Um, we know Prego, I, I felt better about that one, so I got this. And she said, get pizza sauce. Don't get pasta sauce or marinara sauce, pizza sauce. So I got that. And then I got some garlic. I think y'all know I love garlic, so I got garlic. And I got some pepperoni. I told her I was looking for the turkey pepperoni. She said, girl, enjoy yourself. Just get on your diet next week. I was like, okay. I mean, Monday. I'm about to blow it. In a couple days, start fresh. So I have everything. There you have it. My computer. And we about to call in. All right? Let's get it. Take your temperature. Make sure you don't have anything. I had this, y'all, when they came to the house the other day. I'm doing good. 97. God is good. He's a healer. He's doing a great job. <laughs> Praise God for my big brother, Ivy. And his awesome prayer. Praise God. All right, here we go. I'm gonna start saying this stuff. Ooh. Ooh. 
Hey y'all, okay, so I just washed my hands. We're ready to start with the crown turkey. Um, there you go. Yeah, I like mine's good and I'm gonna I'm, I'm going to season it on this board first before I put it in the in the thing thing in the thing thing oh, 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 oh. I know the sticker's still on there just hush You're in my business Yeah don't do that Okay let me get my seasoning so, um, before Nana passed away, God, that's so strange saying that. I can't believe my Nana's gone. Anyways, before she passed away, she bought me this uh, oven, this uh, Wolfgang Puck Pressure Oven. And it literally can cook things like half of the ordinary time or the original time. So, I'm making a mess. I know y'all probably do things differently. Just let me do what I'm doing. This is um, garlic powder. And I can't slide that over, so I'll do that over the thing. But I'm getting ready to put it in. Yeah. I got my skillet. And I'm going to chop this up. This is why I like to use the fork myself. A quarter of the cheese, lay it on the biscuit. Okay. Um, so now, to me, the best part, you're going to take your skillet. 
Yeah. Maybe have a spatula too so you can scrape that, that that thing. Be careful, don't splash it all over your shirt because it, it could splash. Wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. Hold on. Where the pizza sauce? <laughs> tomato stuff so, uh, so i want to be able to dip it and then not be drenched you know just on the pizza does what that you make mean, sense what you mean when you say dip it almost like we would do with cheese sticks with marinara sauce oh, so you say you want to you want to be able to like add some sauce right you, okay yeah. i've never tried that before that could be actually good if you if you, if you like a lot of tomatoes i lot do of so stir this up because you want the meat you want it to be like a, a meaty spaghetti sauce okay. but pizza Okay, and the, it's on now. Okay, yeah, you put, and, and it's okay if it's not hot because you're gonna put it in the oven, so it's gonna be hot. Okay. Um, yeah, I said already, I think you need, you, you want all the meat and everything to be pretty well covered. You don't want any meat to be, because you don't want it to be dry. Got you. So I do, I do like this, like maybe a, like a quarter of that other jar. Okay. Oh, you know what else you can do? Now, this real black. But take that jar that you just had. Yes. Put just a hair of water in there, shake it up, throw that in there too. Really? Okay. Just, just a tiny bit so you can clear out the sauce in the, in the jar. Okay. I did okay. it. There you go. Mm hmm Yep. Okay, now get that other jar and pour just like a, like a quarter of the jar in. Okay. Oh, let me you stop pouring it and I'll take you on the side. Okay. Yeah, I think that Frank gonna know something. Yeah. So that's good. That's good. That's good. Yep. Now stir that up. I, I love see, tomato See stuff. if it's to your liking. And if it's if it's to your liking, then I think you're good to go ahead and just add it to the to the basketball. And I can put a little seasoning to this, right? Yep, you can put a little Italian seasoning, oregano, basil. Oh. Whatever you like. Um to make it taste kind of Italian. That was terrible. Uh, <laughs> Not not hold on, daughter, with this salt. Sorry. <laughs> I know I like salt. I forgot to put my garlic. I'm sorry. I want to put some garlic in. There. I love garlic in. Me too. I've never I've never tried that. That's actually I can do it next time I make it. I'm gonna do that too. I'm so sorry. That's so greedy. Here I come telling you to show me how to make something, and I'm already adding stuff. You know what? But that's how I came to my recipe that I. Right. Like I, just doing it the way I, to do. I got you. Oh, you said pour some more of this in here. You, you tell me when to stop. Yeah, I'll tell you. Okay. That's good. Not going to make sure that's fully stirred up. So, Ange, you moved to New York. How old were you when you moved to New York? Fast questions. I'm, I want like hot potato questions. Okay, cool. I got to do that. Um, I was 26. Why'd you, why'd you move there? Uh, because I wanted to be on Broadway and I just knew New York was for me. The, the energy, the spirit, the pace, it was for me. Are your dreams coming alive? Yes, but they slow as molasses in the winter. <laughs> did you go there with the plan or did you just go? Uh, I wasn't with as much of a plan as I could have because I really didn't know anything. I didn't know, I knew a few people, but I didn't, I had a, I had a couple of basic things I should know and then I just kind of winged it the rest and, and just learned as I went. Did you ever think about going back home? No. Really? Absolutely not. Why? Well, ma'am, Pam. Um, <laughs> I mean, I just, not that anything's wrong with Detroit. I just felt like I had lived as much. Girl, that garlic is going to wear your, your breath down to the ground. You <laughs> caught me, you caught me, you caught me. Put it in there. Enjoy your garlic. It looks delicious. Um, I felt, I felt like um, Detroit, I had exhausted Detroit. I couldn't do nothing else on no level. You know, um, I was a member at Perfecting Church 
for a few years before I left, and I loved it. That was actually the hardest part. Besides saying goodbye to my parents, saying goodbye to Pastor Winans and the church, my church family. Okay. It was really hard. Um, but I just knew I had to do it. I was just like, no. I got, like Detroit has. I've given Detroit everything I have, and Detroit has given me everything you can. Got it. Would you ever come back? <laughs> I wouldn't. I wouldn't say that I wouldn't ever come back. Okay. Yeah, girl, and lots of my homegirls that are my age or you know approaching my age that aren't married yet, they've moved, and it wasn't because of the pandemic. They yeah. are very uh, successful actresses, actors, artists, and they're like, yeah, I'm gonna. I'm trying to set my life up a different way. And if I book something in New York, I'll just fly in and do it. Or if I have auditions, I'll come in. Or now. Nobody's coming in for anything. Everything's on tape. So you really can live anywhere. Really? And then if you need to come in for a final callback or a screen test or something, you just fly to LA or New York, whatever. But wow. Yeah, this, this year is the first year that I was like, you know, this was not off my list of things if I decided to, to move, you know. But I do love my life here. Um, I love New York. My, my crew, my village. Um, yeah, so it would, it would be a tough transition to go back home, but I, I don't, you know. Let me show it up. Ooh, it's heavy and it feel good. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that looks real good. Ooh, it's so tasty already. We're gonna enjoy this, and you make this whole thing yourself. Thank you, Ian. Mm -hmm. So now, girl, all you gotta do is put that layer cheese on the top. Put this. Yup. And just keep layering it. Oh, so it's almost like a lasagna. So it was layers to it. With layers, yep. I didn't know that, and That's it was when you when 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 it's all done and I cut it up in the, it's like squares because it's it's solidified because the biscuit behaves like the the base of the casserole. So now don't be good. modest with this cheese unless you just don't like a lot of cheese. No, I do. It's just gone. So I'm about to open another one. Wait a minute. Oh, okay, okay, right. That's what I mean, it's, you want, I should put some more, right? You need a little more. You said you're going to put a piece of aluminum over it. Oh, okay. Um, now, this is this question because I'm wondering, do you need aluminum? I might not. I don't, I don't usually put, the only thing I put aluminum over is my fish. Okay. So well, you, let's try it without the aluminum. Okay. Especially kind of awesome, make sure it's cooking, cooking good. Okay. Oh, it looks so great. Yay! I'm gonna get a picture and I'll cut it up and stuff to show you. Yep. 